In this one I'll be showing you how to use the Firebase storage to upload and fetch images and we will be working on this in React but you can apply this to any framework you like because overall the Firebase package is the same. Let me show you how it works. Basically if I refresh those images start appearing and loading in and I can also choose a file for example from our pictures let's see this one here the properties of our file are displayed and i can upload the file and after it's uploaded you can see that it refetches and now it appears right there and then the file chooser is reset to its default so now let's get to setting up our project let's start by creating our react project npm create v at latest select react from here and i will be selecting javascript run these top two commands now i've opened up our project folder and i can come to the terminal open a new terminal and then simply run npm run there our project is working now i'd like to come to our index.css and delete everything from here also in our app.css i delete everything and call refc this is with an extension called es7 snippets for react this is the one and I'll also delete everything from our app.css now as for our index.css I will give back these values here just some CSS to make it look a little bit better and now first of all we'll have to set up Firebase to set up Firebase you'll come to the Firebase console and then create a new project but you probably already have this you start creating your project and after this is done there is a little web icon here you will click that and then register your app and then you will run npm install firebase in your terminal and while it's doing its thing i will also copy this config from here remember this is unique for every individual and i will be deleting this project and to implement this we'll have to fully copy this but here we'll in the source folder create a new file called index.js inside this one you just copy paste this in and we'll also say export default we're exporting the app by default we'll be able to access the app from other for example from our app.jsx and we'll be able to access our storage as well this way next i say continue to console open up the navbar and under the build we do need to set up the storage down here you simply click get started and start in test mode unfortunately they didn't make it too responsive but just start in test mode click next choose a server i will say well us central will be good for this video now we have our storage set up i could manually upload files here but i don't want to do that instead i'd like to create a folder here to organize my images and for that this will be called images now in our react project i will create a new folder called components and inside that i will create the first one called file uploader.jsx i'll call refc here first i'll create this html element here this will be a div that will have the class input group although we won't be using css this is just to tag it and there will be an input with the id file and the type will be file that means i'll be able to select from here and in our app.jsx i will remove this from here give a fragment instead and i'll call the file uploader now i'll be able to choose files this is on windows and linux whatever you're using it should be working and in our file uploader i like to create a state variable called file this will store our current file so i just simply say file and set file and this will be equal to the use state use state is a hook in react if you're not familiar with it it basically just sets a variable and whenever that variable changes then the component re-renders or the part of the component that's in connection with this uh, variable which we called file this time will get re-rendered i will set its default value to be null 
and I'll also create a function for handling the file changes called handle file change. This handle file change I will set to an arrow function which will receive the event object because we'll be using that to extract the data from the file and here inside this I will simply check if e as of event dot target dot files so if there are files uploaded using that input field then we set the file to be the e dot target dot files zero indexed element and to actually call this I will come down to our input group to this input and on the on change event I will call the handle file change function like this there is a little bit of html that I'll add so here conditionally if the file is not null then we are displaying this section and this button this button will be the one responsible for handling the upload and we'll be applying this handle upload in a minute and then here we are displaying the file.name, file.type and file.size this is the information part of our well, little demo application up here just so it doesn't throw us any errors I will create the handle upload function this will be an async arrow function and for now we leave this blank I will upload a file here you didn't see my explorer because of OBS but that's fine you'll be able to see the file details over here its type of image and PNG it has this amount of bytes so you can really access the values that the file provides and now we have to work on the actual upload and calling our storage to upload this image now to actually handle the file upload we'll be coming to the handle file upload and we'll only execute this if the file is present if it is then we'll console log uploading file and here we have to reference our storage and to do that I'll first of all store this in a variable called storage and we'll call the get storage method from firebase so the get storage I first of all have to import it get storage from firebase this will receive the app and the how do we access the app that we got initialized from our index.js well that's why i wrote here the export the export default app so all i have to do is import app from the index.js and now in the get storage i can pass in our firebase app this will create a reference to the whole storage i need to create an actual reference to the image that i'm working with const file image ref this will define the path of the image that where we are uploading to and this will be the ref from the firebase storage auto importer it and here i have to pass in two parameters or two arguments one of them is going to be the storage the other one is going to be a string of the path to where i want to put this and i want to put this at images because that's why we created the folder in our application and then slash and i'll put a dollar sign here and we'll put the file.name but this is only the reference we've not yet uploaded anything this is just the reference to where we are going to upload it so here i say await and upload bytes this is yet again a built-in function by firebase where i pass in the image ref so file image ref and i also pass in the file the file is the default file class from javascript and i'll also console log out that uploads the blob or a file and after this is done i say set file to be null keep in mind that i'm not checking with the try catch that if something goes wrong then we should retry or do anything else we are not error handling here this is just the raw form of showing you how to upload to the storage so i set the file to be null after this and i also reset by default the document.get element by id file.value to be zero so now since we are also applying the handle upload from the, our button I can just choose a file I choose the little wolf file that you saw in the preview and I say upload file if I press the console now uploading file is going and uploaded a blob or a file I come to our storage and refresh here 
you will see that there is an images folder and there is our little png and this has a url that, that i can open and then later we'll be fetching the download from this url so that we can show the user our images so for the purpose of fetching our files i will create a new component here called filefetcher.jsx i call refc here here above i've created a use state this one is going to be set to an empty array by default and it will be the files and set files use state this is the one that will store the fetched files from our database i will also create a function it will be called fetch from storage this will be an async arrow function for the moment i will leave this blank but since i want to fetch as soon as someone visits our site i also call a use effect here the use effect is a hook in react that will fetch or usually we use it for fetching that will run once the component loads or this is a dependency array if you enter something here if that variable changes then the use effect will run once again so here i'll just simply call fetch from storage in the meanwhile i've also pasted some html here this is just an h2 and inside the div we are mapping the files for the files i will be storing the urls of our images and there is an index for the key and we are basically just displaying the url in form of an image that's styled with inline styling because that's not the focus of our video so now i can start working on the fetch from storage function but before we actually do that let's just make sure that we call this file fetcher here i'll say file fetcher and we are getting errors in our console saying that use state is not defined so i just come here and import the use state we shouldn't be getting any more errors and we are not that's great inside our async function we have to get a reference to our storage once again so const storage equals get storage and we yet again need to pass in the app so this app is from our index.js our this is our firebase config and now since we are getting multiple images i will create a list of reference here so const list ref this will be equal to a reference and this reference will point to our storage as usual but this time i will pass in images slash that means it will get a reference to all the files that are stored in our images storage in our firebase and now there is a function called list all from firebase that we can use to list all that are in the reference so i'm passing the list reference here and this will list us all the images or all the files from that particular folder but i also want to store it so const res as of response will be equal to the await so whatever the list all returns will be stored in the response and here since we are getting multiple of those i will store them in a constant variable called urls and this urls will be equal to the await and there is something called in javascript promise.all this will resolve all the promises for us that a response like this will throw back at us because it will throw back a list of promises i will pass in here res.items.map and it will receive the item reference and we are returning the get download url here of the item ref now let's break down what we are doing here we have a constant variable called urls that's clear we know that we are made awaiting all the promises so we are trying to resolve all the promises from our response but not really from our response but from the response.items we are creating a new array and these will be from the get download url because by default as i showed you if i open one of these images in firebase it will have a url from st from firebase that's the download url we are trying to get here and if we succeed then i say set files to be urls now i cut this and put this in a try catch block this will be in the try part and the catch will be here called error 
Otherwise, if we are not successful at fetching these images, maybe there is something that went wrong, we'll simply console log out the error. And now the basic functionality is working. I should be able to fetch the images. And since I was saving in the meanwhile, my development server refreshed and now there is a fetched image. Now I can choose another file, which OBS won't record for me, but I can choose it, upload the file, and we are not seeing it fetched from our database. Only if I refresh, then we do get a fetch from there. And to solve this issue, we have to make the two components aware that there was a new file uploaded so that the file fetcher can get the fetching done. I'll come back to our app.jsx and here create another state variable. This will be called refresh and it will by default be set to false and it will also have the set refresh and we'll also create a function here. This function will be called handle upload and we'll be calling the set refresh here getting its value and setting it to the opposite of its value. So we are basically triggering a refresh and that's not going to be enough. I will need to pass down the handle upload function to the file uploader and the refresh to the file fetcher. So let's work on the file uploader first. Here at its parameters, I will pass in an on upload function. And after we've successfully uploaded the file, I will set if on upload. So if a function is passed in, then we call that function. And by calling this function, we signal back to the app.jsx to toggle the refresh. Mm -hmm. And then we can pass the refresh to the file fetcher. And we can actually do another fetch from here. So I'll just pass in the refresh here. Refresh. This will be a parameter that it receives. And as I said, the use effect has a dependency array. This means that it will execute whatever is inside the use effect if the dependency array has a variable that changes. If I pass in refresh here, since it will change whenever we trigger an upload, it will fetch from the storage yet again and we will be able to see the uploaded file's runtime. Now the only thing we have left is to pass in the on upload. On upload I'm passing in the handle upload function. And as for the refresh, I'm passing in the refresh function, or sorry, not the function, the actual use state. And we are yet again getting an error because I haven't defined use state. So I will just import use state from here. Now, if I choose a file, for example, another wolf that's coding, I will say upload file. And now it's refetched from our storage and the wolf appears. And you can also keep track of this in our storage and our database. There goes our three files. Okay, we are basically done. I wanted to keep this video short and straight to the point. I hope you enjoyed it and you found value in it. If something's not clear, make sure to comment it down below. And if you enjoyed it, please consider giving us a like, maybe even subscribe. Tell us what we should do next. And I hope to see you in the next one. Happy coding and God bless.